Before we get started today, I gave the family lottery tickets. Jess, you lost? I lost. We're kicking off 2022, uh, just trying our luck. So we got a lot of things going on today. We're going to be taking the big rock to the back of the property, using the steel chainsaw to cut and put in start our complete, I shouldn't say complete, to start the uh, trail back there really that just involves cutting down some trees and, and trail. It's pretty wet out, so I don't know if we're even gonna be able to get the four wheeler to the back, but we're gonna try. All right, so I think I messed up. I forgot all about this. The ball on the back, I believe is too small for the actual trailer. When I came up the last time, well, maybe, I don't know. Why did I, oh my gosh. We're gonna have to try. Yeah, it's gonna be, definitely gonna be too small. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my gosh. Let's get this loaded up and uh, get to the back. Had to have her move the car. For us to pull it in back up. Yeah, and then we're gonna back it up. So you're gonna get a little backup practice. Oh dang, I haven't backed up the trailer. It's all right, we'll learn. Keep it going. There you go. See how it goes the opposite direction and then you follow it, stop. Okay, it's odd. Backing up a trailer is a little different. You ready, Betty? Re wait. Ready, Jesse? That doesn't rhyme. Ready, Freddy? Ready, Betty? All right, so we missed half the half the fun. Am I muddy? You took your hat off after me. Oh, so we uh, ended up getting stuck a 10 million times going through there. So I just got kind of fed up and didn't want to film it. And then, because we were pussyfooting around. So pedaled to the metal through that. And now we're all, well, we're not muddy too much, but the, the stuff is pretty muddy. Four-wheeler got a little muddy. So this is where we're at. We're actually on the side of our property line here in the back of the property. Still a little spooky out today. So on the map, this is where a point, the transition line point comes to from kind of marsh. And then you can tell that this was, this is hardwoods over here on this area. And it might not be able to tell on camera, but it is. You could go through here. I really didn't want to mess with this stuff too much because this is all going to be bedding area, but maybe if we come through here, right, and we'll just clean this up and then cut the trail back. <laughs> You're such a dork. You're such a little kid. You know that? A big, big little kid. Is it spongy? You're, you're a dork. <sighs> yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna set the feeder rock right here and kind of tuck it just in here. And then that, that way, when I'm hunting, pretty soon we're gonna build a blind. I'm looking at a few blind options. So if you guys have any ideas for a blind, can go ahead and post them down in the comments. But put the blind over on be beside some of these trees. What's that? 
Actually, if we had a blind, I wouldn't need to sit on the property line. I could sit right where you're standing. Put that blind right there. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, so we got the feeder in. This is a, a rock feeder from Tombstone, and it's automated, so it's going to corkscrew corn out and then dump it on the ground and then hopefully the deer will see it Ooh, when we get to shoot them all right so i was really hoping the weather was going to hold out a little bit more switch over to some snow because it is cold we're back here at the back we're going to put some uh feed into the feeder test it out make sure it works we're going to put some corn out too as well uh, on the ground and probably put some over there a little bit and just see if we can't get uh, more wildlife out here to see what's going on All right, so something's wrong with the feeder for whatever reason it's dumping out, but not dumping out a lot uh, So can't complain with free, right? Okay. Looks like it got a corkscrew, right? And then inside that corkscrew, it just corkscrews it up and puts it out. Well, no, there's like cob in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery, take it out, and I'm just going to dump this corn on the ground. There it is. It just needed good fresh corn to push all that sticks and stuff out of there, so. That's it. Look at that. All right, so minus some cleaning up that we have to do, I think we're about done with the feeder and cleaning up. You can see, define the trail a little bit more left a couple prominent prominent trees here enough deer follow the path of least resistance so this has been a big bedding area for a long time it's just been kind of exposed you know so left some of these prominent trees here along the side you can see where there's a, a little rub here prior uh, there's a rub here on this leaving some stuff that ideally i would like to turn into a a scrape area and then really wanted to work the area a little bit 
Because what they're doing is they're coming from over in here. This is all swamp, like high grass. And this is all hardwoods. And then you got a hardwood stand that kind of goes diagonal this way if you look at the map. And they're coming this way. And I'm trying to be a little bit more inviting to them. <laughs> sounds corny to say, but make it a little bit more appealing to them uh, and give them some bedding area back here. So just knock down some trees, put it in the iconic V shape. You can tell that there was already deer back here. We have a, a rub here. We have a rub on that tree. Unfortunately, I did feel like I needed to cut down one of the beech trees that was being rubbed on too as well over here, just to create a little bit of bedding area over on this side. Nothing too crazy, just something that the deer will eventually see. It's high ground, they can come here on the other side too as well and bed down. Uh, with that, I'm gonna clean up here and pack up and get ready to head back up to the front and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, give it a thumbs up.